U.S. deep seabed mining news. On Monday, November 13th, the University of California, Santa Barbara hosted a congressional briefing on the dangers and risks of deep seabed mining. Speakers spoke directly with congressional staffers uh, from science, finance, and cultural perspectives, including Julie Picard, the executive director of the Monterey Bay Aquarium, uh, Victor Rescovo, a deep sea explorer, private equity investor, and retired naval officer, uh, Dr. Beth Orcutt, a senior scientist at the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences, Dr. Craig Smith, a professor of ocean at the University of Hawaii in Manoa, uh, and Uncle Sol Kahua Halahala, a native Hawaiian elder from the Papahana Makua Kea Marine National Monument Advisory Council. They talked about the incredible biodiversity of the deep sea and the ocean, the concerns about the impacts of noise and disturbed sediment that it may have on marine life that also may affect an area in, in the ocean the size of California, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and Utah combined. They also spoke about the need for cultural heritage and indigenous wisdom to be a priority in these conversations. Uh, cobalt and nickel are being phased out, electric vehicles are using lithium, uh, and the fact that deep sea bed mining is a 30 year bet that there will not be a change in better technology. 23 countries have called for a moratorium or precautionary pause on deep sea bed mining. Three US states have put a moratorium on deep sea bed mining in their waters. Will the US be the next to take a stand against deep sea bed mining and protect the ocean?